Hi. I am Mathieu Petit, DBA Solution Engineer. I'm going to present the Control M Jenkins job type made using Application Integrator. What is Jenkins? In DevOps teams, Jenkins is widely used to manage CI CD pipelines. So, in our Control M DevOps initiative, a typical use case is to start a Control M Jenkins job type to build a new application release. Then, after its successful completion, jobs can run on this new application build. These are some useful links. First, the Jenkins REST API documentation and our Control M public GitHub, where the Jenkins um, integration is located. You will find the CTM AI jobs and documentation with screenshots of centralized connection profile, connection profile, job definition, and a sample of job output. This is the REST API documentation of Jenkins. We are going to use in this integration the function build with parameters. This REST API is quite basic. Um, there's a single um, function build with parameters. The authentication is basic. Um, it's not user and password, it is user token. Going to log on Jenkins with the build user. Um, how to make this token here? In configure, we can generate the API token. The REST API can be only used with a combination of user and token. So you copy this for further usage in the centralized Control M connection profile. Now I'm going to log on. Jenkins with the admin user account to see all the details of existing jobs. These are some jobs. Different Jenkins job types. Freestyle project, pipeline, multi-branch pipeline. And whatever the job type is, single way to start it is to use the build with parameter function. Here in the pipeline it is the same. It you click on build with parameters. This is our test job we are going to use in the integration. Job MPE. So what does it do? First it takes a par parameter, param1, with a default value of 10. This is a GitHub project. It's going to catch, download all source code of this application. This is a token. Here are the build steps. We're going to display the Git URL, the param passed by the control and job and a sleeping period to let the job run a few seconds. This is a job definition in Control M. In Control M. First, this is a centralized connection profile. We can see the Jenkins URL, the build user and its token. In the planning domain, the Jenkins job definition. In General tab, we have here the Jenkins job, job MPE. By clicking here, we can display all the Jenkins jobs. So we will see exactly the same list as in Jenkins. Job MPE, job pipeline. So we select job MPE, our test job and param1 is the parameters 
we have just saw a few seconds before. If we have several parameters, this is a syntax using person character to separate all parameters. So environment equal prod, string equal OK, etc. This value in the job definition is the checks every n seconds. Here it is 10 seconds. It means that control M job will check the release of the Jenkins builds. So let's save the job definition. And run it. Now in the monitoring domain, we can verify and follow control M job. In the output, we can see in real time what is happening in Jenkins. And so in control M, the, the job is in executing state and we can see here in Jenkins the job is in progress. So the control M job status reflects exactly the same Jenkins status. The job is still in building state. You can see here the loop. It is still in building state. Now it is successful. At the end, we can see the output of the Jenkins job. Parameter, flight manager, application and the parameter 1, the parameter 1, 1457. And we can see finished with success, successfully. The application integrator GUI. Let's have a look on how it is made. First, this is the connection profile attributes. We can see here the Jenkins URL, the user, and its token. Next is the job property attributes. We will see that in the job definition. This is the job definition form. First, this is the job. It is text box with load button. It is used to feed the job list we will see in the job definition. So this is the REST API call, get the job list. It is a JSON and using JSON path expression, we can catch all the values coming from Jenkins. The parameter, it's a text string, and this is a temporization in seconds. On the left, we can execution steps of application integrator. The first one is a pre-execution. We are going to use a REST API to get the next build number. Because Jenkins needs to know the next build number to check it. So in the JSON output of the REST API call, using JSON path, we can see here the next build number we are going to store in an application integrator variable build number. This is the execution step build job with the function build with parameters delay equals zero, it's important, and the parameters coming from the job definition. It is a post call using basic authentication, user and token. Step execution build job as a verify operation step. Um, it is using two application integrator variable job coming from job definition and the number coming from previous step. There is a little trick in this step because the, the Jenkins API is lazy and sometimes the um, fully ready in Jenkins while the job uh, control and job type 
is checking the state of this build. So in the verify operation completion, you completion, you can check the box in case of failure. One retry is enough like that. You are sure um, the, the verify operation completion will find the build in Jenkins. So this is the build number variable coming from pre-execution step. And in the output and lin, we are going to catch different values. First, the state, the status of the job. Next one is the building. It is a boolean, true or false. Once again, in result, to, to decide whether the job is OK or KO, we catch the value success, failure, unstable and or aborted. Stable and or aborted. If failure and stable or aborted, of course, the job will fail. In the post execution, the method called is console text, and we by ticking this box, we append the REST API output the control and job output here on the right. So let's summarize. Analyze the full output job output. The pre-execution gives the build number. Then execution step build with parameters and our 14 57. Then we enter the loop, the verification operation loop. This is a boolean building. And we check and at the end, building is false and we can catch the status success. That's why the job is in green in column monitoring domain. This is the end of the presentation.